popular BBC TV show House of Games has released a book full of games that you can play at home. We're reviewing it, but we don't have loads of people in our house to be able to play this with. So we've got some people online who are going to be playing the games as guinea pigs. Um, I've taken questions from this book, put them into a presentation, and we'll be playing them as close as we possibly can to the spirit of House of Games. So welcome, um, Ed, Jake, and John. Glad to be here. So, Alexi, you will be playing first. Ian, Pam, Patrick, Anne, Ben, Nick, Sarah, Yi, Chris, John, Martin, and Michael. Welcome all. This is your question. Marilyn Monroe and Jane Russell visit their GPs, who chivalrously send both of them off to see specialists. <laughs> Gentlemen refer blondes. Is indeed the answer. <laughs> This is much easier when you watch it on TV. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you a category and answers you aren't allowed to give. Names in Lou Bega's song Mamma Number 5 except for Tina, Erica and Monica. Uh. <laughs> Sharon. <laughs> Sharon. We must have a go. <laughs> <laughs> Alexi is next. Alexi is next. Uh, oh, yeah. Rita. Uh, yes. yes. Uh, Angela, Jessica, <laughs> Mary, Pamela, Rita. In fact, you could have had your own name. <laughs> <laughs> this round is called Offal or Waffle. You're going to get a list of items that um, are either made from an animal's internal organs, in which case you will answer Offal, uh, or it's completely made up and you will answer Waffle. I'm going to say that Love in Disguise is Offal. Love in Disguise is awful. It's calf's heart wrapped in minced veal and coated with vermicelli. Lancashire lobes. I'm going to say that's awful. It's not. It's oh, made up. No. <laughs> it had to be awful. <laughs> <laughs> it will be a shot in the dark. Splunk. I will go with waffle. It is waffle. It does not exist. Yes. Now for each question, I'm going to give you four clues, and you have to tell me what the category is that links those four clues. The only problem being that every vowel in those clues has been swapped for some for another vowel. So let's get going with the first set. So that's clue. Ed. Ed. Numbers. Is correct. Nick. Nick. Vegetables. Prompt. Um, uh, salad vegetables. No, I Sarah. need Sarah. American names for vegetables. Yes. Uh, they are. Or as the book says, <laughs> names Americans mistakenly use <laughs> for vegetables. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Wow. That's what they say in the book. <laughs> oh, highly offensive. Oh. Highly offensive. So each question is basically you need to identify the song based on pictures that represent lyrics within that song. Um, so here we go. First one. John. John? I will survive. It is I will survive. At first, I was afraid I was petrified. Related. Alexia. Alexia. Mr. Brightside by the Mr. Company. Brightside, <laughs> indeed. Coming out of my cage. Um, so the way this works is you are going to basically get a question in the form of a clue, the answer to which is within the text of the question. At this Berkshire Towns music festival, you may have to share a dingy tent. Oh, uh, Reading. It is indeed Reading. So uh, the last bit of share into a dingy tent. For lunch in this capital city, many pick a bulgur wheat dish known as dalda. Kabul, in oh, pick a bulgur. Spotted, yeah. Games house of. But if the answer was Nelson Mandela, you would give me the answer Mandela Nelson. Which Danish author's fairy tales include The Ugly Duckling and The John. Little? John. Anderson Christian Hans. Is correct for one. Who was convicted of heresy in 1633? Nick. Nick. Galileo Galileo. <laughs> Galilei Galileo, indeed. One. Which 13 part series of dark children's Jake. novels? Jake. A. Events 
of series unfortunate. It's correct. Very good. Done. The last round is hey. a smash. Hey. <laughs> the show you'll know has played. There are no categories in this, so everything is just random. I will show you the text part, and then there will be a picture which I will reveal. What abbreviation on a party invite warns guests that alcohol is not provided? Jake. Uh, B Y O B M X. B Y O B M X is correct. Which 11 letter nonsense word can you use in place of a word you've forgotten? Chris. Chris. Thingamajig jigsaw puzzle. Yep. Thingamajig jigsaw mm -hmm. is correct. A three word term describes Diego Maradona's 1986 goal against England. The uh, hand of Gaudisius. It is the hand of Gaudisius, oh, yes. Oh. Henry VIII marries his sixth and final wife, Catherine Parr. He's right up my alley, you realise? <laughs> I, I have to say we should have that. played this in a normal game. <laughs> <laughs> Bang on again is Patrick with 1543. Well done. In, in one year out. This left handed Spanish champion speaks in a pinched adenoidal tone. Pam. For nasal, 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 nasal. Hank Azaria, <laughs> an unexpected item in the bagging area. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. The answer of the night. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Woke up this morning. Da -da 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 -da. 1605. Da -da 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 -da. By January 06. Da -da 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 -da. I won't even be alive. Da -da 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 -da. Red to the cellar. Da, 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 da. My mind, Alexia. Alexia. I've got those guy forks, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, da, 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 da. Woke up this morning. Da, 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 da. 1996. Da, 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 da. Surrounded by men in white coats. Da, 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 da. Who got mad genetics tricks. Da, 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 da. Scotland's Roslyn Institute. Da, 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 da. Nick. Nick. I've got the Dolly Rashid featuring Noel Kelso Blues. <laughs> <laughs> That's more information than needed. <laughs> so, what did we think of the games in this book? Good fun. Yeah, I, I, I can't say I watched it very much, but it's really interesting, isn't it, how varied they are. What I, what I like about the show that it is so varied, but that felt like that book was much harder than the TV show, which is actually a good thing, I think. Can you imagine playing this with people? How, what do you think of it? I, I'll absolutely be buying this for people for Christmas. Yeah, yeah no, it, it's a very good book. I mean, I, I love the show and, it, and it, the questions are of, of the quality that they are on the show. So I think it's, it's yeah, very good. Yeah. Uh, and surprisingly, with the language for sort of change your letter ones, it, having it without not having it written down doesn't make that much difference. Yeah, but I I think there was enough variety in it, so people like I could play this with my in laws, and it would be who aren't into quizzing, and it would be something that would be fun because it's kind of there's it it's you don't have to be a quizzy quizzer to to get some of these puzzles. Yeah, there are a lot of quizzes in this book. So there's 104. There aren't that many where the, the, the games are repeated. So there's only two answer smashes in here. Only two, the answers in the question. Mm -hmm. Three broken karaoke, which is quite difficult to do. Um, two distinctly average, two hidden in plain sight, two house of gamers, two mouse of games, two pop art, three rhyme times. But actually there's just a lot of very, very different formats in the book mm -hmm. which i think again kind of playing this with some friends with a drink or two um it could go on late into the night it is priced at 16 pounds 99. is this the sort of thing that you think you would be able to play with friends or family yeah uh, but most effectively like this <laughs> yeah I think, you'd have I think to it needs to be like this yeah definitely yeah. um but you could, fil you could filter it i suppose so you could pick the games that it suits just reading out um, yeah and, and it does yeah. actually for every game it does have how you would play it if you had just people in the room it's got games here like you know draw the famous person on the page and people have to guess who the famous person is there's quite a lot of stuff that actually we couldn't do over zoom that you would be able to do in a family setting. The, the the questions, did it feel like it was 
true to the show? Did it feel fun as well? Yeah, very much. Yeah, so. I would say so. Very yeah. much. Yeah, really good. Good. Well, this book is available um, online from all good bookshops and some rubbish ones as well um, <laughs> for £16.99. And uh, we'll put a link in the description if people want to buy it. Thank you so much uh, for being uh, willing guinea pigs and playing along tonight. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, it was really good fun. Thank you. Thanks thank very you. much indeed. Yeah, thank you to you, Gareth, good and to you, Valerie, of course. So by now, it won't be a surprise that we're going to recommend this book, but how did it score on our matrix? Well, for content, we give it 19 out of 20. It is diverse. It is varied. It is entertaining. It's thoroughly enjoyable. It does exactly what you would want this book to do. Absolutely brilliant. Format-wise, it's organized into shows of four separate games, which is really good because you can play a set of four games and then reset the scores and go on and play another set of four games. So that's really nice. Um, the answers are all available at the end of each set of four games, which means you don't have to go rooting through to the back. So for format, we'd give it 17 out of 20. Practicality-wise, well, this is a book to be handled, to use. Sometimes all players will have to look at it and use it. You might have to draw in it. You might have to um, pass it around so different people read different things. Playing these games out of a book is perhaps not the best way to play House of Games, but they do a very good job at making those games playable. So we give it 16 out of 20. Annoyances-wise, there's very little to annoy you in here. The games are that good. Whereas Kazakhstan didn't really work for us. That aside, pretty much every other game worked really, really well. Um, they're explained well and they're very easy to play. So for annoyances, we'd give that 18 out of 20. Longevity, well, once you play through the book, you probably can't play through it again. But by that point, I'm sure they will have brought out another book with more games for you to enjoy. So you might not have the longevity of other books, but it's still a book well worth having. We'd give that 16 out of 20. So overall, a fantastic book, a great present idea, a great family or party book to quiz with with your friends and family. Absolutely wonderful and we recommend it heartily. Thank you to our playtesters who are all All Things Quiz members. If you want to become an All Things Quiz member, then go to patreon.com slash all things quiz. Membership start at £3 a month.